Ah, sir, you're here. The seven kites you asked for have been made to order. Would you like to take them now? Yes, thank you. It's rare to see customers who want to buy this type of kite nowadays. In the early days, we used to get orders from people of all walks of life. Well, this is Mr. Zhang Li from the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, so he's probably well versed in all these walks of life. We've talked about a whole bunch of things while traveling with him. He seems to know Liyue's favorite topics, money and government, really well, but he likes talking about less useful topics instead. Well, that's because I prefer to share fun things with you. <laughs> Children's toys are very fun things, that's for sure. I enjoy watching the children at play as much as anyone else. But there is more to it than that. Finely crafted toys are well loved by children, but this craft itself has been honed over thousands of years, and there is meaning behind that. I have made kites in Liyue for 40 years, and I am intimately familiar with the forms passed down from my ancestors. The meaning of these seven kites is far from banal. Indeed. These are decorations used in the rite of parting. The seven kites represent the seven. I took the liberty of coloring outside the lines when doing the insignia of the Animo Archon. As for the kite that honors the Geo Archon, one must follow the contract given right down to the last letter. These patterns are ancient, and you can also find them in the Golden House. Ah, Paimon's heard that name before! The design of this kite displays a firm grasp on the cyclicality and eternity so dear to the Electro Archon. These markings of tree and leaf pay due honor to wisdom and the passage of time. All this on a single kite. Truly astonishing. Justice flows across the surface of the waters. War rages like a flame. As does that which the Cryo Archon wants. <sighs> yes, these details are masterfully done. <laughs> the compliments of a learned man truly are pleasant. Well then, Granny Shen, I shall take these back with me. As for the payment... Well, allow me. <laughs> no way. I was just passing through. I see Mr. Zhang Li's the same as ever. When paying, well, when getting others to pay for him, he neither looks at the price tag nor his wallet. He knows a great deal about money and about the trials of the common man. He just doesn't consider poverty to be something that could ever happen to him. Or perhaps you could say that he cannot imagine himself lacking money. How has he not died of hunger yet? <laughs> Child, you are as fond of jokes as ever. Well then, since we've purchased our kites without incident, there's no need to take a break before moving to the next step in our preparations. The rite of parting requires helping hands as well as materials. We should be able to find some people near the harbor. Oh, by the way, Take this bag of money. You probably won't want to let Zhang Li do the bargaining, if you know what I mean. Hmm, seems I missed out on some interesting information. I suppose I'll just have to find a more opportune moment next time.
Hiring help? Sure. But let me just say first that I'm a reserve member of the Adventurers Guild. I take adventuring commissions, but I don't do anything clerical. Adventure? Venturing into the mountains to capture a few crystal flies seems adventurous enough. Eh? That's not hard. Almost a bit too easy for a reserve adventurer. Eh, never mind. I'll only charge you 15,000, Mora. What say you? A most fair price. Five Geo Crystal Flies. Yes, I do think it's worth about this much. I'll do it. Listen, let me tell you how. <sighs> A full day of odd jobs at Yujing Terrace. Hmm. No problem. 25,000 per day. A fair trade, yes? Whoa, that's expensive. Um, could you give us a bit of a discount on account of the whole Hero of Mondstadt thing? Hero of Mondstadt? Never heard of them. Well, you may never have heard of this hero, but it seems you've heard of Mora nonetheless. Thus, I will simply pay the whole sum. Hey, that's a good price. Anyone would work for this much, Mora. Oh, help? Sure. I, Tick, always put in 100% effort into everything I do. Of course, there'll be a premium if you want me to give 110%. So what's the job? Let me see. We are still missing some wooden implements over at Yujing Terrace. They aren't uncommon objects, so I didn't make any special preparations for them. No problem. That'll be 20,000 mora for a single trip. How does that sound? Done. Let me think. Deal. This price is reasonable. I'll hop right to it. <sighs> All finished then? Splendid. Any leftover cash is yours to keep. A favor for the Fatui should never go unrewarded. You think you can buy us off with some loose change? No way! Paimon demands to know when the next payment is coming! <laughs> well, how does this sound? You give me the information I need, and maybe I'll leave the Northland Bank's vaults open and unattended for half an hour. What info do you need? Does that mean you know what he's after? Yikes! You're right! Signora! <laughs> you both need to calm down. I don't know what's gotten into you. Just what is this about? The atmosphere got so tense all of a sudden. Next, we need some everlasting incense. For this, we need to go to Boo Boo Pharmacy, the finest pharmacy in all of... Is... everything okay? Everything is fine. I was just informing them that they need not return the surplus mora. 
Now if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Paimon definitely felt like Child wasn't happy with us just now. Thank you. 